Well, new tonight, a plan aiming to better protect students from school shootings is raising questions and a few eyebrows. The Texas Agriculture Commissioner is moving forward with his plan to hire armed guards for school cafeterias. The KVU Defenders also spoke with school safety experts about this plan. Here's investigative reporter Jenny Lee, who had the chance to speak one on one with Ag Commissioner Sid Miller. Before I could ask, what's the farm boss doing? Sticking his nose in this. Sid Miller beat me to it. So cafeteria is something that, that's always on my mind. Of course, and, and safety in those cafeteria is always on my mind. That concern prompted the Texas Agriculture Commissioner's announcement to hire armed guards for school cafeterias. If you'll remember, when these mass shootings started, they started in a place called Columbine in, in uh, Colorado, and it was in the school cafeteria. In 1999, two teenagers killed 13 people and wounded more than 20 others at Columbine High School. The following school year, 2000 to 2001, saw 30 school shootings nationwide. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, the number of school shootings fluctuates over the next several years until 2018 to 2019, when school shootings hit triple digits for the first time at 113. We've stayed in the triple digits ever since. In the 2019 to 2020 school year, there were 114. And for the 2020 2021 school year, we hit the highest number of school shootings at 145. That's about a 20% increase from the year before. But Commissioner Miller, after 19 children and two teachers were gunned down at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, decided to take action. I think Uvalde is really close to home because Always, it's, it, it, it hasn't been these little babies, these, these young ones, the ones so small and, and so vulnerable. The commissioner is using federal law to back up his idea. He says in the National School Lunch Act of 1946, the phrase, as a measure of national security to safeguard the health and well-being of the nation's children, allows him to authorize what he calls school cafeteria safety officers and thinks he can pay for them with state and federal funds nutrition and health and well-being and safety of the school children should be of utmost importance. So I believe from that position, uh, I should be able to work with uh, USDA, receive funding for it. Miller says his team is looking into that funding. Miller also points to cafeterias as worst case scenarios, quoting school safety consultant Dennis Lewis. It doesn't apply just to school cafeterias. Lewis spent nearly 17 years in law enforcement. He now co-owns a school safety consulting firm and trains school districts on how to keep students and staff safer during all types of emergencies. He says armed security guards in cafeterias isn't the best idea. And so targeting one specific area that statistically uh, cafeterias are a fairly low frequency incident of, um, of active shooter events. But I can name you far many more that occurred in classrooms, hallways, playgrounds, and so forth. Lewis is not alone. You know, if, if they can come up with money for guards, then they, they should have thrown the money at us before for, for different programs. Instead of us always having to beg uh, to have the bare minimum for our students and, and less than that. Ovidia Molina is the president of the Texas State Teachers Association. It represents public school employees. Somebody's trying to get into the conversation that everybody's talking about now. And, and again, somebody is not talking to educators. It's just one more politician uh, thinking that they know what happens in our schools. Instead, Lewis points to the Secret Service's most recent study called Averting Targeted School Violence. The agency's National Threat Assessment Center has studied how to prevent school violence for the past 20 years. It examined 67 disrupted plots against K-12 through schools from 2006 to 2018. The key findings? That individuals contemplating violence often exhibit observable behaviors. And when community members report these behaviors, the next tragedy can be averted. We have an abundance of mental health care services that we are going to be able to provide. After the Robb Elementary School killings, Governor Greg Abbott issued several orders. One authorized $7 million to the Texas School Safety Center for on-site campus assessments to evaluate access control measures. A spokesperson sent us more information about those audits. The in-person random intruder assessments at school districts and charter school districts are expected to start in September. There is an urgency about this. Commissioner Miller also wants his plan in place by then as well. For the KB Defenders, I'm Jenny Lee.
Jenny, thanks. Now, Commissioner Miller says he doesn't have a dollar amount for how much his program will cost just yet. He's waiting for all interested school districts to sign up first. And right now, three districts in Northeast Texas have expressed interest. Texas School Safety Center's director is also scheduled to testify before the House Appropriations Committee tomorrow. A spokesperson says the center is developing and finalizing the intruder assessments process over the next two weeks.